Hey everybody, this is Chris Sev with Sourcecraft. Today, the Cody for VS Code extension just got updated to version 1.16. So let's talk about the cool new features in this one. Here's our blog post. I'll link this down below if you want to click it and take a read. But I'm going to jump right into VS Code. I'm going to go over to Cody. I'll open up a brand new chat. And by default, Claude 3 is the default LLM for free and for pro users the Claude 2 LLMs won't even show in the dropdown anymore. So we're very happy with how Claude 3 is performing, Opus and Sonnet. So we're making that the default. Next up, if you have Olama running, which you can see in the top right here, I have Olama running, and any of your models that you have downloaded there will automatically show up in your LLM dropdown list. So you can see right here, I have Llama 3 running. You can just click it, start chatting with it, as long as you have Olama running. So this is really cool because before this extension, you had to go into your VS Code settings, change some things around, but now Olama is turned on by default. The next big thing here is we've upgraded our custom commands. So let me create a custom command. I have a React component right here. Let me highlight this and let me open up Kodi and I'll click on custom commands and I'll say new custom command. We'll create a new one called add prop types. Now this is where it gets really cool. You can change how your custom command works. You would run a custom command and it would open up the chat window with Cody and ask for your custom command. Now you can actually use edit or insert. So let's click edit here. And that will go ahead and just edit whatever selection I have when you run a custom command. This is really cool. I'll say add prop types to this React component and I'll press enter. When we configure our custom commands, we can either say use just the selected code as context. We can use a current file, current directory. I'm going to also add the current file so that Cody can look at the current file and maybe define our types if they are needed. I'll click okay. And I'll save this to my user settings. And now I have an add prop types custom command. I'm gonna, I already have this selected. So I'm gonna click that right there. Cody is working. All right, there we go. Cody was able to create all this stuff. It looks like I need to go ahead and define chat. So I would just go here, I define uh, chat type. There we go. Cody gets to doing that. So that's how I would use a add prop types custom command. Here's another one I want to use. Let's say I have this piece of code, which is not the most readable. So I'm going to highlight this. Let's go create a new custom command. New custom command, make more, I'll call it make readable. And I'll use this as an edit. And you saw insert was there. You can see insert is used for maybe if you wanted to add docs to the top of a file. Let's say I want to uh, make this code more readable and easier to understand. Create variables if necessary. And I'll use the selected code and Let's just say selected code should be just fine. I'll click OK, user settings, and I'll click make that more readable. Let's see what it does. Cool. So it created new variables is index six, is index in range, and that's between one to five. So that's a little bit more readable. That was nice. So let me undo that. Let me highlight that. And we're going to use Llama 3. And let's ask a question to Llama 3. Make this more readable. I find it hard to understand. Let's see how Llama does. Personally, in my testing, I found it really good. I'm not sure how it compares against Opus 3 yet, or Cloud 3 Opus, but uh, it's been great so far, and it's fast, and it works offline. That's fantastic. And I have seen it have like a little bit of uh, personality here. All right, so that's its solution. I kind of like the one that we had generated before this with the custom command. But uh, yeah, so you can have Llama 3 tested out anything that you have with Olama, actually, as long as you have Olama running. And that's with the Kodi for VS Code extension version 1.16. Let me jump back into the blog. Let's see what else is in here. 
custom commands, good stuff. We have Olama chat by default. Submitting chat without context, you can just hold Alt or Option when you press uh, Submit a Chat, and that will go straight to the LLM. We won't search for context, so that'll be a little bit of a faster experience. And we have two experimental features here. You have the Cody CLI, where you can chat with Cody via the CLI. And if you're an enterprise customer, you can even pull in context from the CLI. And we have a BYO Context Sources API. So this is kind of like a bring your own context sources. You can at mention things in chat, but now you can define trigger prefixes like at NPM uh, to pass in select context to Cody. So this is kind of like a teaser at where we're headed with Cody. Lots of fun stuff on the horizon, but uh, yeah. So go ahead, update your extension in VS Code. Let me know how you like it. Drop some comments down below. And if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.